A vintage 727 is chained to a flatbed and headed to a hangar to gather dust. It was once the team plane for the Vancouver Canucks. Now it's benched, like almost all the other artifacts at the Future of Flight Museum. Well, it's a melancholy, of course. Executive Director Jeff Van Dyke will run this museum until it's taken over by Boeing next month. The county-owned museum's lease came up this year. Boeing offered to take over, and the county decided to maximize its investment. The Boeing tour is the top tourist attraction in Snohomish County. The museum was an integral part of that, with more than 400,000 people coming to explore every year from all across America and 170 other countries. I believe that uh, Boeing wanted to um, make this more Boeing branded and tie more closely into the tour. So as people are waiting to get on the tour, um, they have some place to go and explore. Boeing isn't saying exactly what it plans to do with the space, except that it will expand and enhance visitor experiences. For now, the planes that were once suspended from the ceiling are gone. 13 years of educating and entertaining people from around the world, a memory. Some of the artifacts will be donated to nonprofits, others simply mothballed. For workers like Jody Hawkins, it's tough to see it all go away. I'm excited about the changes. I wasn't expecting to be so emotional about it, and I stood right up there and cried quite a bit on Monday, so it was hard. This museum forever grounded as we wait to see what is standing by for takeoff. Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News. Boeing takes over the museum on October 12th. The company says it will release full details about the space this fall.